excited to represent Florida State University and the ACC is uh, you know this is what you play for this is what you prepare for and when you, when you start those meetings all the way back not we don't even talk about all oh, talk about last January when this team was first formed and it, like I always talk about a team has a one-year identity has a one-year lifespan and uh, that's what we talk about this is the ultimate goal which you want to get to we're very proud to be here very excited to be here and like I say representing Florida State and the ACC and looking forward to a great game against a great opponent with Auburn and uh, hope that we'll play well and represent we ourselves. We don't look at the scoreboard. Well. Our fly, we don't care what the score is. We play every game like that. We were behind in the Boston College game, 17 to three in the second quarter. Played very well. Miami game was 21 to 14 at half. We had a big play with 14 to 14, and we scored before the half and played very. But as crazy as this sounds, we don't care what the score is. We're about playing every play, one play at a time, putting our head down. We don't look at the scoreboard, give effort on every play, and at the end we look at the results. And we don't become a result-oriented team. So we don't know if it's close or far away. We just want to play well. If we continue to play well. And sometimes on our first five practices before we went to Christmas break, we're excellent. We got guys really got after it. They came back, and I thought we did a good job and really responded. By that second day, I thought we were right back in form. I think our guys are very focused. And this team has been this way. The thing about this team that I will always remember is how unselfish they were and how they were willing to prepare. They just didn't like playing the games. They liked everything about it, and they liked practicing. And this team has always done that. And I felt the same in our bowl preparation. But at the same time, you can't worry about too much outside when you set the exit because you become weak inside. And then you have the quarterback who will do the runs and, and then the play action back off of it. So they create outside runs, inside runs, and then the quarterback can run with the running game. And it's it's very three-dimensional. It causes a lot of problems. And, they can do it. and, and they're also, they block very well up front. And then the receivers block very well. I think that's another thing, an underlying thing that we, we, know we don't talk about enough. Their receivers do a good job blocking. And I always tell folks that want to get in coaching, go, do, go live without it and see if you can if you can't come back and coach. Because it's too much of a lifestyle, it's too much of a commitment to you, your family, and to these guys. belief, it's a family atmosphere. And what I told these guys, we've gotten, ever since we started winning, all of a sudden we had more individual awards. Ever since we started winning as a team, everybody's getting drafted. Everybody's getting signed. And they see that when the team does well, the individuals stand out and get the awards. And we have we have a motto. We say there's no I there's no I in team, but there is an I in win. That I stands for your individual responsibility for you to be great within the team so the team can have success. And when the team has success, and it's funny how it, it kind of comes right back to me and I get my individual awards, I be um, one team one heartbeat. Um, we started that way back in January. And um, we kind of adopt the attitude and the character of Coach Fisher. And we want to thank him for being a wonderful leader. You know, we kind of adapt his character, and uh, we are able to do great things from that because, you know, all the pressure is on coach, and we do whatever we do to support him and his team. And the league's been doing a pretty good job with him long. But I've been enjoying it with my brothers, you know, people that I fight with, go to war with. So we are, it's always a good time, um, good environment, good atmosphere that we have, the brotherhood around there. And uh, it's starting to seep in by the minute that we are here. Uh, we talked about it in January. And uh, we believed in the power of preparation and letting the chips fall where they may. And we're here. And uh, it's no better feeling. Uh, it's great, you know, being able to play high school ball with this kid and, and come to college, you know, and, and continue to play. But at the same time, once I knew I was coming here, I knew I was going to get better every day, facing them in practice the same way I did in high school. Yeah, well, first of all, we're glad to be here. Um, you know, we've uh, our players are real excited. You can tell on the plane. You know, finally here. Uh, they had two really good weeks of practice, so I thought it was very important. And I feel good about where we're at right now. We just need to have another good week. I thought I've been blessed to have a lot of really good players, a lot of really good coaches, just like this year, to get to that, uh, that point. Anytime you play for championships, you know, if you have experience before, it's got to help. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll be able to let you play the national championship. There's a lot that goes with it. First of all, there's a long layoff. So, you know, strategically you got to plan your practices and, and everything that goes with that. And uh, then once you get here, it's not a normal bowl. Week. There's a lot of extra stuff that goes with it. And so that past experience has got to help. And the fact that we do have some players that experienced it. I know they've talked to the older guys and talked to the younger guys and kind of, you know, told them what to expect. So, you know, hopefully that will definitely help us, you know, move forward to, you know, next week. focused on, you know, the players and, and what we had to bring to the table. And he, he, he really did a great job of letting us know that it had to come from the players. It had to be a player-driven team, and 
we really had to we had to buckle down and work hard. It's gonna be hard. He told us that the entire year it was gonna be very hard. We have to trust in each other, really focus and you know, focus on the task and blessings. You know, as, as far as me as a senior, in my, my last time here, you know, being able to enjoy this with my teammates and I definitely wanna soak in the moment, you know, and also be focused on this time. I think, um, I mean, you know, just taking the experience and uh, enjoy, you know, everything that's going on. And, uh, you know, when it's time to go to work, you got to go to work and just things like that. Just enjoy what's going on and 